Yo, hey guys, Bleaks here, back with another episode of our new profile series. So, let's do a recap of the previous episode. We played some Sorcerer, we made it into Act 3, but I think we died on the first floor to some Ghosts slash Archers. Um, we were able to get a good amount of ore, but didn't really get a lot of XP. So we need to play him some more at some point, along with these other characters. I mean, our highest is only 11. So, really the name of the game right now is to get more XP, uh, more ore, and more gold. So we're gonna unlock all the town hall stuff. As we unlock more town hall stuff, we need more gold for the chapel, for the blacksmith upgrades, for the um, magic person upgrades, for the apothecary upgrades, to roll items in the shop. We just need everything right now. But <clears throat> I think our lowest thing is definitely experience. If we had more stars, we'd get more skill ranks, which will give us more damage than like blacksmith upgrades. So. Um, we're going to continue on leveling these guys up. I think I'm actually going to switch to the Warlock today, though. A lot of people have been commenting about the Warlock and what you can do to improve it. Um, first thing we're going to need is more levels, of course, but uh, there's a couple different ways you can play the Warlock. You can go like a Lightning Bolt version. Um, I usually don't do this just because the cost gets high, um, but you would basically do left click and Lightning Bolt and try to kill stuff that way. Um, I went more of a, I mean, no matter what you do, you need your primary, but I did more of a Gargoyle Eye of the Storm version is what I'm going to go for. Uh, so we'll get Stormlash eventually, we'll get the Soul Cleaver, so we'll get a chance to spread Soul Consumption, which is done from the Soul Dagger. So you'll Soul Dagger, you'll have the extended range from Soul Dagger, Soul Dagger will spread uh, when things die. And then you'll also have this Stormlash eventually. All Bolts of Lightning have a 25% chance to trigger a new Bolt of Lightning, dealing 25% damage. So the Stormlash works with the Eye of the Storm that generates an Electoral Storm, fires lightning at all nearby enemies, dealing magic damage, lasts for 7 seconds, can be linked with Gargoyles. So that's the important part. Um, also it gets to the point where it has 100% uptime. So this one only lasts for 7 seconds, this one lasts for 9 seconds, and this one lasts for... 11 seconds. So what I say, I meant to say 7, 9, and 11. Anyway, at 11 seconds, um, it's up 100% of the time as long as you have enough mana regen or a way to sustain with the soul dagger, soul consumption to keep it up. And that's going to be proccing the storm lash, which will deal a lot of damage. Also, you have the gargoyles. So uh, at the very bottom line of text, you see max amount is 2. So you can summon a gargoyle that fires bolts of lightning, dealing damage. The gargoyle lasts for five seconds. So you can have two of them. They can be linked to nearby gargoyles to create a static link that deals 50% of the damage and stuns enemies. So the stun is important here because the way we're going to be using it is trying to crowd control while we're like kiting away and it dealing damage. But the links, eventually you get up to where you have five of them. So if you do them in like a star shape, your links will be, uh, you'll have the most overlap with your links because all of them will pass through the center point. And if you can get the enemy in the center point, it's going to do massive damage. And like we said before, it also links with the Eye of the Storm. So you can be linked with the Gargoyle. I'll try to show it off real quick. Uh, we have 145 mana. or It costs 145 mana to do the combo, and we have 166. So uh, we'll drop a Gargoyle, and we'll drop this. You can see it's linking from one to the other. And when we get some more mana, uh, let's just attack this guy. You'll be able to drop two Gargoyles, and it's going to link between it. So what's going to end up happening is, let's get some more mana. Um, let's say we're like aggroing a bunch of enemies over here. So you know, shoot your lightning bolt, aggro some enemies, you're attacking them, and you got to retreat. So when you retreat, you're just going to start dropping like gargoyle, gargoyle. And as they run along this wall, they're going to get stunned, and they're going to take a lot of damage there. And as I get more gargoyles, I can keep setting them up and move a little bit, set up another one. That one's got to disappear before I can do the other one. but. You can keep doing that, and eventually you can get five, and you can do kind of a, a pattern where you can do all five around one target. You can see it's going back and forth. It's got the little stars above, so it's getting stunned. But we need some levels to make that work. That's going to be the idea behind the Warlock. The other way you could play it would just be, you know, get your mana, shoot your lightning bolts. Get your mana, shoot your lightning bolts. Which is a fine way to play. I just value the stars more into this stuff because it's more of the late game build. Um, Lightning Bolt does do really good stuff early. Eventually you get to the point where mana is not an issue 
and you get to spam left click and right click at the same time as pressing all your other keys and you don't really have these mana problems I have right now. But until then, we gotta play normally. So uh, we're mainly looking to get XP, so we're gonna try to go as far as we can again. If we get to the Watcher, great, but uh, it's possible that we die before we get there. Um, main thing we're looking for is ore, gold, and XP. So we're, we can only get XP on this person, and we can tax evade by giving upgrades to our other characters. We'll probably try to finish out the Paladin one soon, and then start working on the Sorcerer. I believe the Ranger has all of his until we unlock the next thing in the chapel. So that's going to be the idea there. Um, I'm not going to invest too heavily in keys when I don't have a lot of money. And then two, um, we probably won't see too many gold chests. So I'm just going to hopefully find gold keys. They're also pretty expensive. So I'll probably just be looking on these two. But we're going to try to do more of a serious run because we can get further. We can get more XP, more gold, more ore. Uh, so I'm going to roll items in the shop. I'm looking for either maybe some mana regen and like two damage items unless I get like a really good utility item. So again, uh, movement speed is just utility. Uh, scroll of magic missile, I don't really count this. Like it's okay, but it's not a big deal. And spike boots, um, it's kind of gimmicky. Amulet, that's defense, defense, and mana regen. Like I said, I'm looking for like two damage items. So this is damage of your taking damage that's defense and that's defense now we got damage damage to beast and like a utility item um, i might just roll with this the chance to get crits on skills is pretty nice it's crits on everything but your primary your soul dagger um so it's decent beast we get more xp from beast most notably that's going to be everything in act one it's mainly beast act two and act three are mostly undead Act 4 is Aberrations, and then Act 5, uh, you're back to Undead. Act 6 is like Trolls, which I think they're counted as Beast. Uh, so we're just going to roll with this. We'll buy... Mm, what else can we buy? I'm going to check out the fountain before I buy any keys, just to make sure I can turn on what I want. I'm still ignoring the Anvil for now, <clears throat> along with the Thief and the Wizard class. We'll see if we, uh, we do this. We might just do this at the very end. So I can get more skill power for resist, get immune to poison, but reduce health gained, movement speed for gold gain, or gain for gold gain. If we didn't need gold, I would consider doing Miner's Delight here. Immune to confusion, XP for minus movement speed. We'll take that, because that's a big chunk of XP, 50%. And then health regen for skill power. So we're just gonna do the XP. You can always look at your XP gain. Uh, yeah, it's over here. So instead of us having the 100% rate, we're going to have the 150, so that should help a lot. And we'll keep doing that drink on all of our characters. If you don't have the drink, I wouldn't worry too much. Um, you'll eventually find it. Just every time you see a drink on the map, go after it, and eventually you'll have them all. So we're going to go back to the fountain. We don't have a lot of money to work with, like I said. So I think we're going to mainly be focusing on getting up the gold and mana side if I can. So we'll do lousy consumables, enemy reinforcements. I'm gonna need my potion, so I'm not doing that. Don't wanna add on anything extra with luck. I don't want elite enemies because that's like red hat guys. That's the red wisp. That's uh, just a lot of nasty enemies are elites. So I'm gonna ignore that. We'll go relentless threats. I think I can handle them on this character. Uh, mini bosses are fine. I need my guild bonuses. They can have more speed, that's fine. I'll definitely need an elevator. Wells are unusable. Um, I might just keep this as a safe backup in case I need my potions. I only have two potion charges. If I had max apothecary where you have three or four, I would be a little more okay with uh, turning off the wells. Eventually it gets to the point where potions aren't a big deal and you just don't use that at all. No secrets will spawn. Um, I might just go with no secret spawn for the extra. I mean, it's minus eight favor and then we'll leave it at that. So let's turn on some things just to make it easier. General traps, let's do safe corridors. I may even do, no, I don't want to cut into my XP too much. Top of towers would have been okay. We can also grab the movement speed to counteract the drink we took that gives us minus movement speed so we don't feel super slow. But I want to keep most of this stuff here. I could turn on imps and I guess we could do, no, I was thinking we could do yeah, we could do bigger bottle and turn off and do dry springs to try to counteract a little bit. We gain a little bit of favor. We gain a little bit of negative favor, so XP and gold. 
What else have been limited uses? Ace key and frequent threats, guidance. I, I really like monoliths, but I think I need to, it just cuts into my XP so much. I don't want to do it right now. Treasure hunt, glass walks, spawners, sluggish. All right, so we'll just leave it at this. Um, I think it's about as good as I can get. Maybe a couple of these I don't really need. I could give up some movement speed, but kind of time is pretty worth, I think. Speed up the run. All right, so we'll lock that in. That's fine with me for now. And I guess I'll save it just as like an, an idea of like a an XP setup. All right, what else do I need to do? I can go back to the keys. We've already gotten drinks. We've already done everything else. Actually, I could look at the upgrades I have left on this character. All right, so I have quite a few. I think I'd rather buy permanent upgrades than just some keys. I will buy like, I guess three bronze keys, that's all I really have. All right, cool. So let's start this off. And I've already forgotten some of the effects. I did no secrets, right? Yeah, sealed cracks, no secrets will spawn. So I don't have to worry about looking for cracks in the walls or anything like that. And here's another drink, Melanist. I don't think I had that one, so that's good to get. And yeah, this uh, thunderstorm should do pretty massive damage. It is a massive mana cost though, which is a little unfortunate right now. So yeah, mana's gonna be my big thing. Uh, I'll have to start getting to the point where I'm not spending all my money and I can maybe search for some better items. Like Ring of Transmutation is always good. Um, and some other mana regen items like that. Rod Sword, sounds good. Well, my character even feels slow after <laughs> keeping the, uh, the increased movement speed. But as we get more blacksmith upgrades, we'll be able to get more movement speed. And that'll be very nice. Hey, we got a monolith anyway. I'll take it. So yeah, I'd say the Warlock uh, is one of the weaker classes early game. Uh, he kind of shines a little later. He's similar to the Paladin, um, where the Paladin is kind of terrible until he gets his shield ranks higher and starts getting his heal and that kind of stuff. Um, the Warlock's kind of the same way until he has all of the range and the chance to spread everything and uh, all the extra gargoyles, he's kind of awkward. Um, you, you can't really keep up very well with your mana cost. Even though like you're one of the few classes that have sustain, your mana costs are just pretty high. So we'll do those gargoyles. Just kind of helps like stun some stuff as we go. I think the mana might be best spent for Eye of the Storm though, the way I'm playing right now, at least in this act. So oh, I can just continue to walk. Yeah, the idea would be if I can keep Eye of the Storm up as much as possible, then I can just kind of walk through the levels. The only thing is uh, it doesn't have the uptime that it's going to have later. It's only seven seconds. So you can see it's about to, uh, yeah, it disappeared from on top of my head and the cooldown is still very long. But it's a very good skill. It's just kind of hard to keep up. So I'm going to keep uh, transitioning between doing Soul Consumption and Eye of the Storm when I can. But it takes a while to uh, get enough money, or sorry, get enough mana to get it back up all the time. And that's where things like Ring of Transmutation would come in handy. Is uh, If I was taking damage, I would be gaining mana. Uh, as I gain mana, I'd be able to keep these skills up all the time, and then I would be able to get my health back by using the soul consumption on the primary. Which, that'll happen eventually. It just, you know, takes a bit. I'm trying to think what our biggest struggle on the Warlock was last run we did with him. I think it was mainly doing the three uh, counselor fight, the wraiths. Um, we just didn't have a good way to deal a lot of damage, so it was cycling between using the primary to get a little bit of mana back and keep our health up, and then using lightning bolts whenever one of them would land to uh, deal some damage before they 
attacked me. Um, which was kind of a mixed bag. Sometimes it would work well, other times it just kind of depended on what Wraith it was. But other times the Wraith would fly in and like instantly do his damage. I'd only get to do like one or two lightning bolts. But that's where the gargoyles would kind of come in handy. You can drop them and then the Wraith will land. Because you get to see where they land first. You can drop them down and uh, they get a lot of damage while you're not close to them. Which would be the key. Um, I'm going to pick up the Lifestone again and the Markham's Purse just to get the extra uh, gold gain. I'm also going to go with health, because an extra 15 health is almost 15% more health right now, which I think is going to be better than the other defensive items that were there. It's just a lot of health, even though it's, you know, only 15 health. Because the whole thing should be, if I'm not getting, like, one shot and I'm able to attack with my primary, I should be able to leech back most of it, or at least give me some time to get out of there. But yeah, Eye of the Storm has been a great pickup. Um, if we get enough levels, we'll probably pick up Stormlash. So we can get the extra Lightning Bolts. Oh, and that guy just got chain stunned in the Gargoyles until he died. That's what we like to see. So we can start playing a little more aggressive with the Warlock. Since we have a way to stun. Before that, he doesn't have any evasion. He doesn't have any way to stun, and he's kind of a leech tank, which is kind of why I went for the health. So if you have more health to a health pool to work with, you have more time to leech tank things. I also still have the defensive monolith, so that's also a help right now. We'll probably be able to keep it like halfway through Act 2. So I always like to have monoliths, there's always something good. But I couldn't find the favor for it because I really want the XP. We haven't really gained much XP in here. Even though we kind of have everything going for it. XP just becomes kind of hard to get. For uh, NG1. Or NG0 to NG1. Eventually you catch up and then every consecutive run you do, it's pretty easy to get your 5 levels. That gets unlocked by completing NG. Alright, is this something I can even open? It is. One, two, three, let's see. Wow, alright, that's perfect. Gladiator's net. Okay, so we have a chance to disarm enemies on our attack while we're getting health from them and dealing damage with the, the lightning storm. It's pretty good. I don't know if I have enough damage on my primary currently to be able to face tank the first boss. Um, the Warlock's one of the few characters that can get health back from the first boss. Usually things have lifesteal, but the way this character's ability works is it doesn't count as lifesteal, it counts as, I don't know, you just get the damage back as health. Uh, which sounds awfully familiar to it, but for whatever reason it's different. So I can actually get health back off of the construct. And we have full mana, so I'm going to go ahead and pop the storm here. Drop a gargoyle. And I guess we'll, we'll, we'll try it. I'm trying to keep my other gargoyle close. And yeah, we're actually gaining our health back. So we were able to just burst him with the Eye of the Storm and some Gargoyles. Not bad at all. Warlock's coming together. Uh, that's a nice disarm, you can't do his little attack. I don't have a silver key, so we gotta purposely do this poorly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know, hopefully that's enough to get like a, a bronze chest. Oh, it's still silver, geez. Um, maybe I should have gone to 10. I'm not sure the number that downranks it. If anybody knows, let me know. But... 
I'm sure I could test it, but I just never think to do it. We're getting like so much mana back then. If we could have put down more gargoyles, we could have had a ton of damage. So probably the next things we'll rank up is uh, Storm Lash if we get enough points, and then gargoyles. So the extra lightning bolts will be really good from the Storm Lash. It's, I mean, it's just free damage. Where the others is uh, it increases my mana cost and all of that. So that's like a great place to put some gargoyles because all the stuff has to walk through it. And they're getting stunned and dealing like a ton of damage. The gargoyles are nice. I mean, they give you some breathing room. Let's see, smelly old man. I think that's a new drink as well. Don't have that one. So we found like two new drinks. And the more stuff like that we find, the uh, easier it'll be to help the characters. We'll find more and more drinks that'll be relevant. Um, haven't found the button. So I'm getting hit by arrows, but I'm able to sustain through it, which is nice. I haven't seen the button. Uh, is that it over there? It looks really weird if that's it. Nope, that's not it. I don't think it can be in this room. Alright, it must be... Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a really weird one. Okay, let's grab our ore. Can't unlock that. We didn't find a silver key. And let's grab our chest and diamonds down there. We might have a shop next floor. Only found three ore so far. But we've almost gotten half a level. Which I guess is pretty good for only doing Act 1 in the first floor of Act 2 so far. Our XP gain is 270%. So it's just kind of time efficient to do the fountain and the drink. Because I mean, this is equal to me, you know, doing almost three act ones. But we did it in a third of the time. So very beneficial in that way. All right. Like I said, there might be a store on the next floor, so we're not going to deposit our money quite yet. And we'll just keep going. So I have no secrets turned on. Okay, it's a gambler. So a gambler isn't considered a secret. Glowing staff. I'm trying to find my worst item. Probably this movement speed if I get hit. It is kind of nice utility. I think I just want the rest of it. Also the, the main regen and combo. Yeah, we'll just roll it. Seal of Souls, so deal more damage for each percent of mana missing. Okay. So when I cast my Eye of the Storm or my Gargoyles, I'll probably go down to almost no mana, which means I'll almost gain 50% damage, which would be nice. Oh, that's kind of a scary spot. Those elite enemies. Those red hat guys are pretty scary. But, I mean, we had potions and everything else, just uh, having them right off the bat. Just let the gargoyles weed out most of them. Yeah. Trying not to waste my Eye of the Storm while I have it. I definitely want to shop as soon as possible, just to... Uh, have as many items as fast as possible. Get that spike. Uh, old map, pretty great utility. More XP. It's only 20%, so it would bring me up to 270, or from 270 to 290. We can get more damage to undead, and also gives us 10% more experience. That's kind of a nice hybrid. Let's see how much stuff we can buy. I kind of want the old map. It'll just help me go faster. Skill power is always good, though. You know what? Actually, let's just ignore utility. And I'm going to go for the damage here and the XP. So we just want as much XP as possible. So now we're at 290, but it's going to be 300% versus undead. Unless it calculates differently. I'm not sure if it does. 
doesn't really matter. I want as much as possible. And it gives me damage to these guys, which is really good. Alright, let me check. Oh, this is the exit. Alright, I see the button over there. Um, there could have been a question of like, why didn't I get the mana regen ring there? Uh, I just feel that the mana regen is too low to really make a difference. Um, most of my mana regen is going to come from the soul consumption. So I'm not worried in getting items that give me 0.1 or 0.2 mana regen. If something gave me like one full mana regen, uh, like there's a ring that does that, then I would kind of consider it more. Um, this is like an okay item for me right now. If my health dips below 50%, skills cost 25% less. You usually don't want that later because you're going to start scaling with statues if you get the DLC. But before that, um, it's kind of just like, oh, I'm getting hurt. I don't have mana to cast my skills. Well, now I have a chance to get it, especially when you get leech on your skills. Your life will go down, and if you don't have enough mana, you'll start getting that mana in the form of cost reduction. Okay, so we already found the button. and go loot our spoils. And I mean, I was talking down Lightning Bolt, but I mean, you can still use it. It's still a good skill, uh, especially in conjunction with your primary. Using them both at the same time does a lot of damage while like keeping your mana kind of high. But I'm definitely prioritizing Eye of the Storm, and then if I'm kiting a huge group, I'm trying to uh, to use the Gargoyles. So, I mean, Lightning Bolts would also work. I just like the things where I don't have to be near it for it to deal the damage. It feels a lot safer than trying to be close enough to hit with my primary and be close enough to hit with the Lightning Bolt, because it's not a super long range. Uh, nothing up there. I haven't seen the button yet. Right, that's a lot of enemies. So, just trying to kite back. Didn't have to run in there that crazy like, but... I'm feeling pretty strong, which is a good way to have your character killed. Oh, that's two elites. All right, we gotta we gotta back away from that. Yeah, I got some critical hitters thing. All right, so bronze key. We need to kind of not do super well on this. So I think like three is the max, maybe four. And I'm talking about this over here. So that's two, three. Well, we save a key that way. I uh, couldn't tell what we got out of it. If it was an ore or money. I think it was money. And also for this kind of stuff, you can drop a gargoyle and kind of run away. Also a place up here you can drop one. Alright, we got boots of speed, so we'll feel a little faster now, which is great. Uh, it kind of helps out too, just because Eye of the Storm, you kind of want to go further, so you can deal more damage to more things. Oh, almost got caught on something there. It's, it's so nice just dropping gargoyles and like running away. Right, I'm getting some mana before I go to that group on the right hand side. 
uh, that's kind of like a scary little spot. Jeez, I've been really bad about seeing the button in this, this prison. Alright, where did I miss? I mean, I haven't gone over here at all. It's not over there. It's not going to be in the treasure room. It's not up there. We'll just grab this stuff while we're here. What are we actually missing out on? One ore? Uh, that's probably worth it to me at this point. Alright. Check it. Check every top wall. Mm -hmm. Ah, there it is. Okay. Another weird one. Oh, we have a, a chest up there. That one was a diamond. We always want to see items, but I'll take the diamonds. And it's about to be time for a boss fight. So we're going to do pretty much the same thing we did the last boss fight, but we're going to be kiting after our first uh, wave of stuff, because we're going to be out of mana. And if we can get our soul consumption on there, we'll get a little bit of mana back. And we'll go from there, depending on how much health he has. Alright, so let's deposit. Uh, 22 tax, that's fine. Alright, so I think it's around these two squares when the boss fight starts. So I'm going to kind of run up, do Eye of the Storm, drop a gargoyle, run back. I'm going to be using my primary, I'm going to get enough for the second gargoyle, and he'll be in the middle of both of them, hopefully by the time I press the second one. Okay, well, he spinned a little faster than I initially expected. I need to keep him kind of close to the gargoyles just to get some more damage out. But I'm not going to, uh, to die doing so. You can also use the lightning bolt strategy. Um, it may even be better. But definitely in need of some mana. Yeah, we got him in between two gargoyles. Did a ton of damage. <laughs> Unfortunately, you gotta attack his body and it'll eventually die from the primary, but the primary does like one damage. The soul consumption does all the damage. Oh, Cape of the Flame Walker. Okay, so we'll deal damage as we walk around now. Kinda nice little extra bonus. All right, I'm gonna try to take out some of these enemies before I try to do this trap. And we also have uh, frequent threats turned on. So we gotta kind of move a little quicker than normal. But still stay safe. And the statues work the same way, where you can set up the gargoyles around the statue for it to uh, do a lot of damage to the statues by creating all the arcs. Yeah, we just took out that one pretty easily. Let those two statues kill pretty much everything. Oh, uh, still don't have the key. I don't know if there's a way to do that one worse to where you get where you get downgraded. I think it's just fixed where you always get a silver chest if you complete it. I'm not really sure. I don't see how you could do it wrong. Let those gargoyles take out everything. So yeah, that's the power of the gargoyles. They're like actually pretty crazy. So usually once you have enough gargoyle stuff, um, if your damage feels fine, I just usually start buying tons of defensive items. Evasion's always good. Uh, Pot Helm is always good. Armor, resist. So I usually don't continue to stack damage. I usually start going lots of defense because if, if you're tanky enough and your damage is already fine, then you can just basically have infinite mana with your soul consumption, soul dagger, set up. Alright, I want to take out this other statue really quickly. Pretty sure. Oh, and a silver key. 
pretty sure we're gonna have uh, the threat soon. Alright, so gotta go back and pick up that silver key as well. So thank you, mini bosses, for silver keys. And yeah, we we're talking about evasion, so now we have plus five evasion. So not a lot. So, I mean, it's only five, but eventually we'll start attuning these items, and it's really gonna start adding up, help our character a lot. All right, now see the last statue. If I can get to it, I'll try to uh, take it out before the great threats, but a little too slow. All right, need to start avoiding more things, get my health back. I still have the potions in my back pocket, but um, I'll try to save those for like boss fights. If we get to like the Watcher, I would rather have four potions for the Watcher than a. Uh, you know, little random undead enemies in Act 3. Because I really shouldn't have to use potions on this kind of stuff. If I am, then I'm doing something wrong. I should play a little slower. Alright, so those are killed. I'm just gonna basically kill everything else in here to uh, get all the XP. Because again, I mean, these are all undead, so we're getting the 300% increased XP. We just got our second level of the run, which is pretty good, I'd say, all things considered. Right, let me grab this silver chest. You need to still not walk in the trap or it's going to reactivate. Alright, so that was actually the item I was talking about earlier. So you get the 0.5 health regen and one mana regen. So our mana regen is now 3.8 instead of 2.8. It's a pretty big difference. An extra 25% mana. Yeah, our character's feeling really strong right now. Eventually we'll get the town and everything upgraded a little more, and we'll get, uh... We can start... We can start starting the game with, uh, blue items. And pick up something like Scepter of Kings. Maybe Staff of Auto Casting. Or, if our damage is fine, we'll, you know, maybe go towards, uh, Amulet of Kings. For the extra resist, or Armor of Kings for the extra armor. But you can't really go wrong with that kind of stuff. Uh, just grab this while I'm here. I'm just trying to kind of go a little fast so we can get to the statues before we get great threats. Not that I really feel like they're a problem for this character currently. I just don't want to get overwhelmed. It seems like our primary is doing really good damage right now. Alright, I see a Necromancer. Got our Gargoyles. Yeah, the Gargoyles killed the Necromancer for us. Legit. Oh, there's another one. And I'm disarming that guy. It's just RNG, but... I uh, always try to focus the elites, followed by casters, followed by range characters, followed by melee. I mean, if able. Sometimes, you know, you have 50 melee on you, and you have to deal with them first. But I think you guys get the idea. That looks kind of scary. Just a lot of archers. That was like with one gargoyle and just attacking. We had enough. If we had full mana, 
can drop both of them and probably take it out almost instantly. Here's the third one. You can try it. Let me just hold some mana. I need 90. So I have enough mana. Let me just drop two. One and two. I'm gonna walk away for a moment. See how much damage they do. Yeah, it took out the whole statue. And the damage just gets more and more amplified when you unlock more of them. And get the extra bolts of lightning from the storm lash. Uh, I gotta continue to check in case there is a store. Um, also, I want all this XP. I was trying to disarm that guy, but it, it just wasn't working. RNG. Alright, so we have one more chest and got some stuff we can kill in the middle. We can go to the third floor. And yeah, we're already halfway through another level. More damage for our primary is more damage with the soul consumption. I'll definitely take that, which is more sustain. Faster gargoyles. I'm gonna start pulling some mana. Uh, never mind. It's like I'm gonna pull some mana to deal with the tower, but there's a lot of enemies down here. And eventually all this stuff will get a leech along with it. So all those little bits of damage will be leeching your health back, which would be very nice. I'll leave that there. See, the tower's not in the middle of both of them, so it's not doing nearly as much damage. Because the each one was arcing to it, but the, the arc between them wasn't activating. Oh. <laughs> All right, and we're done with this floor. So shop on the next floor, we have 11K to spend. Another reason why we did the fountain to get even more money to go back. We're finding a good amount of ore as well. All right, so here's the tower. Let's do one on each side this time. See how much damage it does. See if it takes it out. It does, perfect. All right, so. Priorities, kill a statue quickly, but I'm right here by the shop, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. We'll just drop two gargoyles, and then we'll go shop. All right, so when you're in the shop, it pauses. I don't know if I've said that before, so we can kind of chill. And, uh, like I said, um, our damage heal is fine, so I'm just gonna go with uh, defensive items. So slippery cloak, 6% more evasion, then also I get movement speed while I'm evading, so that's pretty nice. If we get this, we get five armor, and then the set bonus, we get another five armor. So I kind of like that. This one is 15 armor. So it's 10 armor for 450 gold, or 15 armor for 1600 gold. And this also lets you get the next two eventually. And then talisman. So uh, nearby enemies take more damage. We're pretty close to enemies when we're attacking with that, and we're attacking with that. So it's kind of nice. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to do like a mix. I'm going to get the cheap armor there. I'm going to go for the talisman. You also could have gone for even more armor to get plus 25. But we're about to be in the next act, which is mostly magic damage. So I think I'd rather do more damage than uh, take less of a damage that isn't really in the act. Like we shouldn't even really have to deal with physical damage next act. Alright, still haven't seen a statue. I 
I didn't get to drop my second one. Don't have enough mana, or I didn't have enough mana. I'm gonna grab my diamonds and whatnot while I'm over here. We might just have to deal with a, uh, a triple great threat, which isn't a big deal. It just gets kind of annoying. All right, so there's that. Well, we have necromancers anyway. But gargoyles taking them out. So that was one thing I was talking about with my last run. Uh, that I did with the Warlock, where I felt like it was really difficult versus the boss. Um, if you have a lot of difficulty versus the Act 3 boss, I would just say just wait until you can get a Gargoyle skill or two, and that'll help a lot. But I guess you can just watch and see. will be there in a moment. So many arrows and projectiles. Let me take a little step back. Okay, so killed all that stuff. Really digging this XP, getting a lot of XP here. This is what I was trying to do on the Sorcerer, but I got a little too greedy. And that's kind of one of the bad things with the sorcerers. You don't have enough sustain early to really pull off like what the warlock's doing. So one's coming from up here. I haven't seen where the other ghosts are coming from. And I guess it was both of them. Luckily, we haven't really found any gold chests that we have to give up on. We probably will in the next act, and we've been able to find enough silver keys for almost all of them, if not all of them. That felt really close, but we did it. Not that it was going to like kill us or anything. All right, that's a lot of magic projectiles. Not really a fan of that. But as you see, like, the rate threats are coming out faster and faster. That's why I try to prioritize the statues as fast as I can. Just haven't seen a second one. They must both be in the center. Uh, another drink. Groovy Ghost. That's a really good one. It's the plus eight evasion for minus uh, attack power. So, really good, like, defense for some of the casters. Good on the Warlock. It's a lot of evasion. Oh, and a gold key. Alright, so I saw a statue up. It should have continued to go up, but... I'll just take this out so we have plenty of room to, to kite. While we're over here. Yeah, I didn't think we were going to beat the next thread anyway. Just eye of the storm and dodge. Oh, I guess there's only one left. Oh, I did beat the second one. I just kind of forgot I did. There we go. That's all three. So we saw the exit over there. Go deposit this stuff to the town. We'll probably have to log over to Tax Evade because you already have 7k in there. Um, we recently upgraded the tax limit so we're able to send more back without getting taxes heavily. Alright. So let's switch over. I believe I said the Paladin needs some upgrades. So let's get some more stuff for him. That's the wrong thing. This guy. Alright, so... None of those. Maybe he is done. 
And he has the chapel one. He might be the only one that has all the upgrades. Alright, so yeah, he has that. I don't have enough for the, the chapel thing. Unless I uh, eat the tax right now. So let's make sure the ranger has everything. If not, we'll be giving it to the sorcerer. Alright, so the ranger needs it. Uh, critical hit chance, weapon, weapon, armor. So he's missing one armor. Uh, I can tell he has the potions already, and I know he doesn't have the chapel bonus. Okay. So back to the warlock. Warlock is now uh, our highest level, or one of our highest levels. Send that back. So now we actually have 10k in the town. We can go get a chapel bonus for someone. Alright, so drop gargoyles. Run away. We got hit by the, the blades, which is unfortunate. But as you get more uh, gargoyles for the character, more mana regen, it's going to make this boss fight easier and easier. Right now it's still a little wonky. Probably the hardest boss for the Warlock easily. Jeez, alright. I'm gonna we'll see if we can sustain, but... Getting hit by a lot of things. And you can see our mana cost went down because we're under 50% health. Our, uh... Keep the flame walker isn't helping too much because it's hitting the statues, which is proccing them. So we're getting a lot of extra garbage that we normally don't get. All right. So which one do we have low? We have the poison one. Well, we'll do some damage to that one. And the red one. Always the red one. Hmm. Alright, I'm dropping two gargoyles and running away. Pretty good damage to it, I guess. A couple hundred. into it. Blades. Okay. Always that one. That one loves to land. The red one never loves to land. Okay. More blades. Only had enough mana for one. Cause something's also draining my mana. I think it's the green stuff. Either way. Go nice and slow with it. by the blades. Okay, so we just need the red guy. Wow, well, the guy killed my mana. Ouch, 
We'll potion again. Just want to make sure we get past this part. So those two gargoyles in the eye of the storm. But now we're getting leech for our mana again. So I'll just throw some lightning bolts. Definitely easier than before. We did have to use two potions, which kind of sucks. Uh, because it just means it'll be harder for the watcher fight. But hopefully we'll do uh, everything else we can, right? Like, the idea of this run was to get money, to get XP, and to get war. Um, we've gotten good XP, we've gotten good war. Um, we've also gotten good money. I would always love to kill the Watcher though, and I know we will eventually. It just feels kind of weird that he's just out there and every time we've gotten close he uh, has kind of wrecked us. I'm trying my best to get through this act and not take like a super long time to do it. Like to at least get another level, like finish off this level at least. But I am getting chunked pretty hard. I feel like I'm taking a lot of damage. Uh, it's probably the magic damage. There's a lot of ghosts that deal magic damage. There's a lot of the, uh, the wisp and there's a lot of the mages. There's also a like a hidden room in here that unlocks the bestiary, which is the last thing I need to uh, have everything in the town, pretty much. Wow, well, we're finding some golden keys. All right, there might be hope if we get some like pretty decent items, uh, increase our health or increase our resist somewhere. Uh, we'd be pretty strong. Ooh, got hit by a ton of those wisp wisp things. No! Got hit by the eye. The eye meleeed me for like a lot of damage while I was already low. Okay. <laughs> so, I guess we need to switch more into the gargoyle strategy instead of the eye of the storm running in strategy. Alright, another gambler. Okay. What is our worst item? Um, potions are more effective. Could be okay. Evasion, movement speed, XP. Mm, the Lesser Combo Nova. I mean, this one isn't doing much for us right now, but I'd love to get the other half of it. I guess there's not much left in the run. I can go ahead and sacrifice it. All right, so we sacrificed 15% chance to get one health for five health, five mana, three attack, and three skill power, and two armor, and two resist. So pretty good upgrade, I would say. We are going to start getting great threats soon. I'm not too worried about on this character, I just want to be able to get everything while I'm here. Alright, let's see if we can see where it is. Alright, it's the exit. I always try to look and see if I can see the secret. So there's the Great Threat coming. Let's go and grab this Monolith, we're almost done. So it's more XP. How much XP do we have now? We have plus 100. So plus 100 XP gain. If we look, we have... 290% and then another 100% at the bottom. So, just gonna try to gargoyle him. Ooh, his melee hurts a lot. And some lightning bolts. Okay. Not the biggest fan of trying to fight that guy. But, we seem to do it okay. Let's try to get some more items. Tricksters. It's a good bit more evasion. So plus another five for the bonus and plus another eight for it. So brings us up to 22% evasion. Very nice. And the last piece of the set is just a common item. So if we find it in like the shop, I'll definitely look at buying it because every time we evade, we'd be put into combo. So it's a good way to get into combo versus like bosses. Where you're normally not killing enough stuff to activate combo, you can just evade and then you're in combo. Easy. 
Yeah, we're starting to feel the struggle of the, the game right now. For the Warlock. Act 4 is uh, not pretty. Which, I mean, a lot of it's just the resist. Um, I remember when I was doing this for the first time, I definitely ran a lot of Amulet of Kings and eventually got it attuned. So I would roll the shop and I would be at like plus 60 magic resist just off the start. And I don't even have close to that right now. I only have 19 and what is it? Seven of them, seven of it is from the class titles. So I only have 12 overall. Okay. Uh, the red list for horrible. But gargoyles are doing work. So we can kind of do like a kite and run type of strategy. It's not my favorite way to play the game, but it is definitely effective right this moment. Okay. Oh, we actually evaded the trap at the end. Stinger. So Stinger is actually really bad for us because we don't do any physical damage. Unless we get items that deal with physical damage. Alright. Nice. We're coming along. We got the level we wanted, so anything after this we're pretty happy with. I'm going to be honest, I hate this trap, so I always ignore it. If uh, you're comfortable with it, go for it. But I basically fail it every time, so I'm not really worried about it. Right, there's our first book. And uh, a dye, a paint, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, we just have to do a kiting strategy, and I think we can get through this act. Um, next thing will be, can we actually beat the boss or not? So our character does some pretty good damage, but we're kind of slow, so going in and out of the orbs and not getting ignited constantly uh, is going to be kind of brutal. Also, just the ignite does a lot of damage because we don't have a lot of magic resist. So I don't know how well we're going to fare versus the Watcher. But we'll definitely try our best if we get to him. Wow, this is going to be a longer episode. <laughs> I just looked and we're like already at an hour. Well, that's cool. Um, I guess uh, let me know if you guys prefer longer episodes or shorter episodes. It might not be like a big difference because there's only so much I can do if I'm doing like I'm doing a run on the Warlock, but I have to go slow to try to progress, and I'm, you know, explaining everything. Oh my god, that damage. Oh, that was a great threat. Okay, so I had the potion there, or I felt like the run was about to be over. Wow, I saw the great threat pop up too, but my head was in a different spot. I was not thinking about it. Alright, so we have one potion for the Watcher. That is uh, not what I like to see. But we do have 8 ore, 8k gold we can send back. If we don't buy a lot at the shop. I think we're pretty much done with this floor, huh? We can check right here, which is probably nothing, and then we have this one portal. Let's check up there real quick. I'm just ignoring this tower. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nothing. Okay, so we'll do this last portal, and um, yeah, we'll jump through, go to floor three. Okay, some more money. It actually brought us to where we just checked. Amazing. Should have known. All right, before we get the next great threat, I'm just going to try to get out of here. I think the great threat is spawns at the bottom, where we saw that red pentagram. Um, even if he spawns right now, we can just walk out. We don't have to sit here and kill him. Yeah, let's see where he's at. Yeah, he's at the bottom, down there. Alright. 
Up to the next floor, and then we have the Watcher. Nervous for the Watcher. But we'll have a shop. So, just depending on how we feel, we may not try to spend too much like uh, gold on the shop. Because we can just save it for the town. Yeah, let's get out of there. We're going to have to kite back in here, though. Hey, we got that level we were talking about. Or maybe we got an additional level. 13, huh? We might have gotten an additional level. Yeah, because I already talked about how I was glad we just got everything we actually wanted to do. Everything else is extra. So, an extra level. Pretty nice. That's uh, going to be a good amount of stars. Good amount of stars, indeed. Got rid of the bulk of the wisps so we can take out the spawner. I can't wait till we can leech to so kind of face tank some of these bolts and just leech through it instead of having to kite back for every single one. Feels kind of bad. Heard the evasion. Alright, there's a third book. That's all we technically need. We'll take a fourth just in case, but we don't actually need it. It doesn't really help us. Or it definitely doesn't help us. Alright, can run through some of this. Ooh, that is so much stuff. Too much stuff. I guess too much would have meant I died, but that was definitely enough to kill me. Oh. If you have Cape of the Flame Walker, it can go through walls, so I can knock out some of those things just by standing close to the wall. Kind of interesting. Not super useful. You just got to be able to get close enough. We got over here. We got the shop. So, magic resist. High priority. High, high priority. Uh, Mage Bane reduces their chance. It, it costs so much, and it doesn't work against bosses, so I'm not really too much on that. Scarab of Protection, when I take damage, it deals damage, but usually you want to pair that with Leech. So I'm looking at, like, Curio's case, and I guess I'll just grab the scroll because it's cheap. And... I don't, want to, I don't even think I want to spend money on the Greaves. It's like technically useful, but not enough for me to spend the money on it. Right, so we have a great threat somewhere. Don't see it yet. Might have confused it actually. Oh, there it is. Okay, I see it. So I'm just going to set up to do two gargoyles in here as it comes up. Try to deal most damage that way. Alright, we got him. Let's go back up, start knocking out these guys. I see a tower is going to come out of the floor up here. So I'm you know, weary of that. Alright, it's the confusion one. Should be able to get around that. Oh, I got stuck on a, a barrel for a split second. It's a little scary. Oop. I don't do not want to use my potion here. Okay. Another great thread, huh? Already. Coming from the top there. Let's go around here. We do the same kind of strategy. Alright, there we go. So we have our exit. I want to check up here, see if there's anything else and pretty much get as much XP as I can. We're gonna start getting like lots of great threats though. Okay. I, mean, I guess the main thing is just focus on XP. I have the shrine still, or the monolith, and uh, I'm almost done with another level. So this was definitely worth it, regardless of what happens.
There it is. Alright. Continuously trying to disarm it. AKA just attack it. But uh it's still worth noting. Okay, that's where he actually spawns, a little pentagram. Explained it earlier, but didn't know if you guys actually saw it. Alright, so we got at least one portal to go through and some more enemies to kill over there. So, silver chest. Nice. Gloves of warding. Blocks uh, magic damage. So that's kind of nice. Hoping things die before they make it in here with me. Eh, pretty much, pretty much worked out. Oh, you got me. Uh, please help. Nope. Let me. Let me go. Oh god. Alright, let's see if we can see where it is. There's the ore shaft. Um, I mean, we'll just go ahead and deposit now while we can. Ooh, that was too close for comfort. Right, so that's a lot of tax. Let's log over. Uh, what do I actually want to get my upgrades on? I guess I'll get my chapel bonus on the ranger. Go ahead and knock out those uh, expensive ones now. I think he had one more other thing to get. I'm just going to go defense. And let me double check. I think he just has one more for 1500. Yeah. All right. So we're almost done with all his upgrades. We're done with all the paladin upgrades. Then we'll work on the sorcerer and the warlock. Make sure they get all their stuff just to make it uh, even easier. So we'll send that back. And I still have this monolith, so we're just going to kill everything. I know uh, this is going to be a long video. Apologies if you guys like short videos, but this is going to be a longer one. We're making progress. What, what, I mean, what else can we do? <laughs> you gotta get them levels. Another great threat. Also, the great threat doesn't give XP, so we're just gonna get out of here. Alright, so we have one potion. Um, we have seven gold to send back. Uh, I do not care about the seven gold. Let's just get this fight started. All right, first one up is Crimson. That is probably the hardest one, because the uh, the guys get kind of enraged. So I'm dropping the two gargoyles and we're running away. Did not do very much damage. All right, they're spinning. When they slow down, I'm going to run out. I'm going to try to be able to keep that up. Try not to wait too long to get out. It's going to be a tough fight. Alright. First phase, easy enough. Uh, it's only two orbs, so it's actually kind of the easiest phase there is. Ideally, we want to save our potion for the fourth and final phase when there's like six orbs or whatever it is. But we'll see what's actually possible. And if we can go into each phase with uh, a lot of mana, that would be great. But it doesn't look like it's going to be that possible. He always lands where he was before. That's another thing to keep in mind. Alright, so we got hit by it. But luckily, the Warlock can sustain a bit. Even though we're getting hit by a lot of extra stuff. All right, we made it to the next phase. Um, honestly, we don't want to use our potion here. So the best thing to do is really just kind of wait and like get it to like a safe spot where uh, you can regen. So I'm going to cut the video here and I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. So second one is the yellow. 
Like I said last time, it didn't really work out. I want to try to save most of my mana to have a uh, for the eye. Because my mana is the most amount of damage I can do. So if I can have it to where the eye comes down and um, I can drop two like gargoyles and do the eye of the storm. We need to kind of run away for a moment. Alright, they're going slow. Let me get out of here. Wow, that chunked me. That did so much damage. Okay, slow down please. Alright, nice. That was actually a really good time to uh, have him phase as well. So we got a lot of our health back from the that ring we have. Duke Signet Ring. Uh, which you can only get once you've started finding the wizard. And it just becomes a random drop. So we can go right into the next phase. Because I can just get mana off of these guys. Just trying to avoid the disease, so I'm going to kind of go in a circle. Um, it's also worth noting like where the Watcher went up. I believe it was over here. I need to kill this thing though. So I'm just going to lightning bolt it down. Yeah, so there he is over there. I'm going to wait for his walls to kind of extend a little more. Oh, we walked into that one. Okay, he's doing the speed. Oh, we got to run out. Uh, a potion. That's an unfortunate potion, but it'll at least get us to the next phase and run out. Okay, still didn't phase. Oh, we died from the ignite. We should have stayed in. Oh well, that's fine. That's fine. Um, we're getting really close to being strong enough to defeat the Watcher, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it is what it is. We basically beat the first three with one potion. If we had all of our potions, I'm pretty sure we would have had that. Uh, there's probably some other stuff, like having some more magic resist would have also been good. We came back with 31 stars. We got 68 ore, because I think we also got the next guild hall achievement. So, pre looking pretty good here. Um, we can upgrade some of our skills. So, Stormlash is going to happen. The next one is 15. I don't believe we have enough ore for that. But let me see before, uh, before I discount it. So, getting to level 14 feels really good, actually. Our next run on this guy is going to be very good. Um, I'm still ignoring uh, the magic shop. It doesn't lock the wizard, but you have to find the guy in the, uh, the act first. Same with this one, I believe. So we're trying to hold off on those as long as possible. Uh, we're almost done with blacksmith upgrades. Apothecary stuff could be good. Yeah, town hall is 80. We may just save for it, honestly. Yeah, I'll just save for it. Because then we can unlock the rest of our skills, and as everyone starts getting to level 14, 15, uh, they'll be able to get their next tier of skills. So, our mana is still pretty hurting, so more soul dagger is more mana back because it's dealing more damage. Um, let's get some more gargoyles. They do go up to 60 mana. I'm actually going to look at these passives as well. So, one more gargoyle. And then we'll get Soul Cleaver 2 and Extended Domain 3. So we have more range, we have the extra Lightning Bolts, we can have three Summon Gargoyles. This is what I was talking about before. Um, so you can drop Gargoyle, 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 and it's pro it's going here, here, here. Um, and it's stuck in the middle, so it's getting hit by all of them, which is very nice. It's going to really help versus stuff like the, uh, the Counselors and some of the other bosses, the Watcher. And you get the extra bolts from Stormlash. Very good. Um, so yeah, that is the, the Warlock. We'll also, I guess, look to buy these upgrades while we're here. So it looks like the Warlock is maybe done with upgrades as well. Oh, we have 35k. So I think I can get the Chapel bonus for him and the Sorcerer. Um, yeah, I'm still going Defender on like everyone. So all right, that is all upgrades for the Ranger, the Paladin, and the Warlock. Let's go check out the Sorcerer. We can get his upgrades as well. And we can then start looking at uh, spending gold on other stuff or having like a stockpile. Okay, weapon, critical strike chance. We already have all the apothecary upgrades and we'll get the chapel upgrade. Um, 
increases your damage of skills. We're still not ready for that, so I'm, I'm just going Defender on everything. Eventually, I'll, I'll switch some of it around. We have 68 ore, so probably the next run, we'll unlock the final tier of the town, and then we'll start working on some of these other things. Blacksmith upgrades again, since we just finished them on all of our starter characters. Um, upgrade the general store some more. Upgrade the treasury some more, so we can start bringing some more gold back. And uh, yeah, so on and so forth. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Catch you guys in the next episode.